If you've been running a Learner Active Technology Infused Classroom, it might be time to self-assess by going back to basics. The Learner Active Technology Infused Classroom puts students in charge of their own learning by having teachers shift from overtly controlling the actions in the classroom to creating structures that allow students to take charge. The results are powerful. Here are just a few common indicators we see when teachers fully implement all of the structures and strategies of the Learner Active Technology Infused Classroom. There are many structures and strategies you might find in the classroom. However, some are fundamental and therefore critical. If you drop one, you no longer are implementing with fidelity. The structures and strategies create a system of interdependent components. When implemented with fidelity, they create a strong network to support student achievement. But if you pick and choose which structures and strategies you like, and you start to drop one here and there, you weaken the system. While it may seem okay to implement only those structures and strategies that seem to work for you, in fact, it will reduce the likelihood of you producing powerful results. After you've been running a Learner Active Technology Infused Classroom for a couple of years, you may find that you've dropped several critical structures and strategies without even realizing it. It's time to return to basics. I like to use a tennis analogy here, as I remember trying to learn tennis many years ago. When you first learn any sport or performance art, you are taught the basics, and you must practice to ensure you are carrying out each action with fidelity. I remember being taught how to hold the racket and stand knees slightly bent, shifting weight from foot to foot, waiting for the other player to hit the ball. You turn as the ball is coming toward you for a better hit. You keep your eye on that ball, and after hitting the shot, you have to follow through. So many things to remember. When I watched tennis on television, however, the pros barely looked like they were following the basics. They would hit shots with their feet off the ground, a no-no for sure. They would hit shots with their bodies wide open instead of turning. I realized that these players knew the basics so well that they were able to compensate and maintain the why of that basic while putting the personal touch on it. In some cases, when an impossible shot was headed their way, they would take a risk that was never included in the basics. But the basics of the game were so ingrained in them that they were able to pull off the shot. In your Learner Active Technology Infused Classroom, every few years, it's important to return to the basics to reflect on your practice. Reread the book. Use the Learner Active Technology Infused Classroom rubric. Take stock to see which structures and strategies you may have inadvertently dropped and consider how you might reintroduce them into your repertoire to build an even stronger classroom network. Back to basics. Change the world.